Hey everyone, Zero Kimchi here, your source for Android emulation news and gameplays. Now get ready for this video to blow your mind to the moon. Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero is completely playable on your portable devices on day one. Enjoy the video. Vegeta, you're not done already, are you? Whis wanted to visit with Bulma again. If I want him to keep training me, I have to catch him before he runs off again. Man, no fair. I want to train some more, though.
Everybody's here! Alright, let's go! Okay, I'm gonna give this one my best shot. Give it everything I've got! All shall be reduced to ash! You've got spirit! Come at me! No holds barred! The wait is over. I'm at full power just as you asked. I'm not done yet. Yeah. 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 
Regret the bad things you've done. This gameplay footage was done on the Ayaneo Pocket S with 12 gigs of RAM. I use these settings in game, but some of these could probably still be adjusted a tad higher without any performance sacrifices. As for win later settings, CMOD version 10 was used. Box 0.3.1-2 was used in the main settings. In the game's shortcut, Turnip version 24.3.0.5 was used. Then, DXVK. Yes, DirectX 11 is supported despite the Steam specs requirement stating only DirectX 12. So here I chose 2.4.1, GPL Async, and left everything else default. Furthermore, in the Advanced tab, the Performance preset was selected. Also lastly, the Container Advanced tab I have selected, the Startup selection to Aggressive to stop all services for a slight bump of performance. No dependencies were installed inside the container. Although these settings were used for a quick test, it could probably be improved upon to get a better experience. Like always, your milliage may vary. And that's it. Thank you for watching, hope to see you next time.